Hello everyone, I am Professor Manali Reshamwala from LG Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about pulleys. It is a part of syllables for first year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is Exercise Therapy 1. Pulley is a grooved wheel which is rotated about a fixed axis by a rope which passes round it. Axis is supported by framework or block. We can see here in between there is a axis. This is a axis and a grooved wheel around which a rope has been passed. Pulleys can be are of fixed pulley or movable pulley. Fixed pulleys, they are used to alter the direction of force and enables the traction or resistance to be applied at any angle. Weight acts on one end and effort is applied at the other end. So here in a figure we can say to raise the 100 lb weight with the use of pulley we can alter the direction of resistance being applied. If we wanted to lift this 100 kg lb we would have lifted it Without the use of pulley, we would have lifted it against the gravity that is in upward direction. And we need to also apply force that is of 100 lb plus that is of gravitational force. While with the use of pulley, what we can do is we can alter the direction of force as we, we are giving force in the downward direction towards the gravity to lift this 100 lb weight. Same 100 lb tension is being generated in the rope, so we also need to apply effort of 100 lb force. So here we can see uh, in a pulley uh, on one end there is a weight and on another end effort is being applied. Next, in human body we can also find some of the examples of fixed pulley. These allow muscle to be inserted at more advantageous angle. For example, a quadriceps muscles works as a pulley in human body where because of patella uh, the insertion of the quadriceps tendon is such that it gives more advantageous effect than others. Other examples in human body are digastric and omohyoid muscles which pull round fibrous loop of the hyoid bone. Here we can see this is the digastric muscle. This is the whole is upper part is the digastric muscle um, from one end to another end origin insertion and is a, here is the omohyoid muscle and in between there is a hyoid bone. Next is next example in the human body is obturator internus muscle where it takes a right turn or we can say it turns at a right angle and glides on a rigid groove to its insertion on the femur. So this way it gives more advantageous insertion to the patient, uh, to the muscle. The use of pulley in physiotherapy is in various active assisted exercises as well as resisted exercises. Next is movable pulley. Movable pulley, we are using two pulleys inside it where one pulley, the upper pulley is fixed to an uh, overhead support to which one end of the rope is attached. Here we can see one end of the rope is attached to the uh, fixed pulley. From here rope is then wound round to a movable pulley and to which the weight is attached, weight is attached to a movable pulley. And this rope is again round, wound round to fixed pulley and on another hand effort is being applied. So again revising it, for movable pulley we require two pulleys, one is fixed at the upper end and from there there is a fixed attachment of rope. The rope is then wound round to a movable pulley on which weight is applied and this rope is then wound round to fixed pulley and on the free end effort is being applied. Use of this movable pulley is to gain mechanical advantage when lifting heavy weights. Let's see a mechanical advantage is weight upon effort. 
So here in this figure we can see a 100 LB weight is being applied on a movable pulley and a fixed pulley. Use of this fixed and movable pulley, the amount of effort we require is only for 50 LB. Yes, whatever the 100 LB amount is there, the tension in all the pulleys will be the same like 100 LB and with the both the uh, rope will be getting only 50 50 LB tension it is divided one end is fixed and another end is wound round through fixed pulley so a person will have to apply only 50 LB of uh, force to lift the 100 LB so here is a easy example of mechanical advantage where we can say weight uh, mechanical advantage is equal to weight upon effort so weight is here is 100 lb and effort being applied is 50 lb so it gives two that is we are getting mechanical advantage if double pulleys are used the effort required can be reduced to half and so on for example in the next one if we are using only one pulley we have to apply force is that of 100 newton that is 100 newton weight and 100 newton effort so uh, if we are using two pulleys double pulleys the effort is reduced to half if we are using three pulleys the effort is reduced to one third and if we are using four then effort has reduced to one fourth the use of these pulley in physiotherapy especially it is used in lifting the trunk for suspension therapy exercises we can use a pulley as well as a suspension rope and wooden cleat by which we can easily provide a suspension therapy to trunk whatever the heavy body patient we can easily lift patients trunk or pelvis with the use of a movable pulley so here are the references. Thank you.